Hey everybody, welcome to another Unmotorized Moment of Inspiration. I'm your host as always, Dr. Dustin Bain, and today I am coming at you from one of my favorite spots on a Tuesday morning. Of course, there's an Americano that is involved, absolutely. I am at Caribou Coffee today, as opposed to Sidecar Coffee, and uh, got up here. It is, uh, what is it, about 7 o'clock, I've been here for about a half hour, journaling, writing some things down, uh, ideas, concepts, and things that I want to bring to the forefront today. And uh, I was waiting for a message to show up in my head, and it, it showed up the second I walked into Caribou. Walked in, showed her my, my what is it, frequent flyer card or whatever it is. They scanned it to let them know where I am, uh, basically so the government can know where I am at all times. And she started she started upselling me. <laughs> She's like, would you like, a, would you like a bagel? Would you like a, a large instead of a medium? Would you like da da da? And she just kept going on and on and on. And... Uh, what I noticed is what the upsell was happening, first of all, and that she was looking for a bigger profit than what I was had in my mind to give her, which was just a coffee. So, got the coffee, came outside in this beautiful, amazing morning. I got to tell you, I don't know if it gets any better in these last few days. <clears throat> and I wrote the word profit down. Profit. Profit. Wrote the word profit down in my journal and started just breaking the word down. And I broke it into an acronym that I wanted to make relevant to you guys because I think the concepts that you can learn simply from this little word can not only modify and change to the bank account because that's an end result, but can revolutionize your relationships, uh, just everything in your world if you follow this. So if you're looking for a profit, there's different things that you need to have. And when you look at the word, we're going to start with the P, purpose. Purpose. Everybody talks about it. Everybody's mentioning it nowadays. It's kind of a, a key coin term of why. Why do you do what you do? What is your intention? Uh, do you wake up in the morning simply to go and collect a paycheck? Or are you going to work looking to make a change in people's lives? What is your intention? What is your purpose? Why are you trying to do what you do? Once you identify that, now you can proceed. If you haven't identified your purpose, if you haven't identified what you're trying to do, uh, that may be causing lack of fulfillment, that may be causing a lack of uh, zest and urgency in your life and while you're at work. So think of that. If you haven't identified that, sit down and figure that out. Second thing, responsibility. You have a responsibility. We were all given certain gifts. Each of us were given certain talents. Each of us, each of us has had separate experiences within our lives that if you haven't learned lessons through those experiences then those experiences will continue showing up. However, once you learn the lesson, it's your job, it's your responsibility, it is your duty to share. And I know some of you out there thinking, man, I went through that experience, it's embarrassing, it was people will make fun of me, people, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Somebody needs to hear the message that you're meant to bring to the world. What is it? Use your talents, use your gifts, use your situations and your circumstances to help somebody else out. Okay, that's R. O, opportunity. Each of us were given the exact same amount of time in a day, 86,400 seconds. It's how you utilize that time that will dictate whether you're going forward in life or if you're kind of stuck, right? Do you come home from work and sit in front of the, plop down in front of the TV for about four hours? Do you wake up every morning, hit the remote, turn the TV on, or grab your phone and all of a sudden you're starting looking at other people's lives via Facebook, via checking instant messages, via whatever, You have an opportunity. Utilize it. Seize it. Otherwise, the opportunity will be, will be left, and uh, you'll be wondering, why didn't I ever get a chance? Well, the opportunity was there. You just weren't ready. Focus. What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on your problems, or are you focusing on your pursuits? Are you focusing on your problems, or are you focusing on your pursuits? What are you trying to get to? Where are you trying to go? Or are you sitting back and constantly sitting back, well, I don't have this, I lack this, I'm not good enough for that, I don't have this certification, I can't do that because I... <sighs> what are your pursuits? What are you trying to get to? Figure out the roadmap and the action steps you need to do to get that, and that's where magic starts to happen. Which brings us into the next thing, I, investment. You have to invest in you. You have to invest in you. Why do I spend so many weekends traveling halfway across the country to attend conferences, to attend experiences, to attend? I'm investing in me. Why do I do date nights? I'm investing in my relationships. Where are you lacking investments in your life? Where are you constantly withdrawing instead of depositing? 
invest in you. The last thing, this is what it all comes down to. This is the, this is the, this is the sketchy thing everybody's looking for. Did you guys see that guy behind me? That was kind of funny. <laughs> time. What's the time? Time, 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 time. Everything takes time. There's the chiropractic principle. There is no, there is no process that does not require time. Where are you trying to rush something that's going to take time? You know, the farmer doesn't plant the seed and expect the next day for the crops to show up. You have to plant it. You have to nurture it. And then you just have to wait. Allow the process to happen. That is the same adage again. Trust the process. You have to trust the process. So again, P, purpose. R, responsibility. O, opportunity. F, focus. I, investment. And T, time. With all of those combined together, that is when profit will start to show up in all areas of your life workplace relationships in your bank account everywhere profit will start to show up that's all i got for today so the challenge i have for you guys is simple look at your world and say where are you lacking profit is it at work is it in your relationship is it in your bank account where exactly are you lacking profit now go through the p-r-o-f-i-t figure out where you're lacking and start doing it and magic will start to happen that's all i got for today everybody knows what to do Stay inspired.